So hey guys, I got a little update. Got a GTI 180 gearbox and a GTI 180 flywheel to put on my 2.2 litre 206. Got a little video here because I've got two cylinder heads, and everyone seems to be asking this question. Well, not everyone, but people who modify Persia 206s, for example. Want well, to know the difference between the GTI 180 cylinder head and the standard GTI cylinder head? Obviously, it's been a ported head, so um, a lot of people go out and buy ported cylinder heads for the GTI to get some power. Here's a way to do it without spending too much money and not knowing if you've actually had a good job done. The GTI 180 here obviously increases the horsepower of the standard GTI like quite a bit and from what I can see it's down to some simple porting. If you look down this in the head here this is the it's an EW12 cylinder head but obviously it's not being ported. You can't really see down there because if you look at the nose down there, it's highly built up in there. And if you look at the GTI 180 head, it doesn't have much of a, a nose. You see a lot more of the valve color back to here. So the top has been shaved away quite clearly, and that's mainly it. You could just cut away at these top bits here, and you have a ported head. But anyway, the point of this is if you buy a GTI 180 cylinder head and then you um, want it to get some power, you put a GTI 180 cylinder head on the standard GTI and then you buy fast rod cams for the GTI 180, obviously in vernier pulleys, and then you're going to have some decent power because you're going to have a supported head and you're going to have some really good cams. I'm going to keep the VVT system on my car though, I'm not going to go too far. Alright, little tip. I've got a GTI 180 that I'm breaking, I'm going to keep a few bits, but um, this car is going to be a beast. Thanks for watching.